Robert Klein has been making us laugh for more than 40 years. And in 1975, he launched stand-up comedy on HBO with his first solo special. This Saturday, he returns with his ninth HBO show called Unfair and Unbalanced. Take a look. There were little things about getting older that pissed me off. I never banked. I can't open things. A soy sauce took me eight minutes. <laughs> There's little ripples, but it ain't opening. <laughs> and I can't use my teeth. $34,000 restoration. <laughs> Dr. Himmelfarb. Was it really Dr. Himmelfarb? <laughs> I'm still drying my eyes with tears from the gulf. What, a, what an opening act. A disaster. <laughs> Very difficult to follow. How are you, sir? There has Good to, to be you. Me. Good to see you, Harry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to first go all the way back to 1975. Have you any idea how many viewers HBO had in 1975? Did anybody in America know what HBO was? Um, it was called Home Box Office. They didn't call it HBO. Right. And um, my, my recollection is they had about four or 500,000 subscribers in eastern Pennsylvania, uh, Long Island, and Manhattan. They right. had a staff of a few dozen people. Now it's the crown jewel, one of them certainly of Big Time Warner. Huge, huge, yeah. huge. Yeah. And uh, it's entirely my doing. Oh, if it weren't for you... You are the linchpin, as they say. Well, it was a novel idea. Right. It was a novel idea. But when you went on, when you went on HBO, part of the uh, idea of it was you're on HBO. This, people have to pay for this. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's not basic cable. Yes, uh, including, obviously, uh, uh, risque material and not particularly profane, but... We are adults, and, and profanity is an important part of the language when it's used aptly, not as a substitute for wit. <laughs> but uh, now I open the torrents now. Now even their westerns, you know, these <laughs> cowboys ride into town and say things I don't think cowboys ever said. No, they did not. <laughs> but yet the absence of profanity when it's apt right. can be... I mean, uh, the, the Sopranos has been sold to A&E, right. where it's completely sanitized. You know, a man gives you another one, the bird, suddenly he's an amputee. They blur it out. <laughs> And, you know, it's a lot of darn and forget. Forget you! You forget your mother! Forget! You know, there's a lot of forgetting on the, on the uh, A&E Sopranos. Uh, the, I wondered how they would pull that off. It was an amazing idea because at that time, I was doing The Tonight Show and Merv Griffin and, and all those other shows, and what do you get, six or seven minutes to show you stuff? Right. And it was a wonderful way, and I was doing a lot of colleges then, and right. so they chose one. And it, well, 1975 was the year, if I remember correctly, that SNL started as well, where you, you were one of the first... I was in the first season. Right. My first, first host, host was the fifth show in the whole series. Right. I told Lorne Michaels, this will never last. <laughs> Go into another bit. <laughs> Get another job. No, we were nervous then. But you were the guy standing at the counter for the first... Oh, that was the uh, next time I hosted. Oh, I was okay. the first customer in the cheeseburger sketch. Okay, very that was good. I wanted eggs. <laughs> that was 19... So it was so funny, even in rehearsal, that we couldn't keep a straight face. Wow. You know? uh, as you said about doing a new show like this, is there, do you just let the currents of current event take you where it will, or do you usually have a have an idea ahead of time, this is where this show will go. Well, I, it's always organic. I mean, I'm getting older now. I started it. I'm now a geezer. I mean, I've, I've geezerized over the years, so <laughs> my interests change a little. Um, but uh, when I do uh, any kind of politics on my shows, I do it in a kind of historical perspective, not something that'll be forgotten next week. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, you know, my, my, one of my main targets are these hypocritical... Uh, infidelities, uh, the <laughs> politicians who, you know, pray in the morning in their little residence and they stop everybody else's <laughs> wife at night, you know. There is that. Why? It just it kind of never goes away. Um, it, it, you know, people believe their own spitzer. I mean, the, people believe their own PR. Or Be careful of sanctimony. It's always well, he, the... he wasn't. He was just a little depraved for a moment there, I guess. <laughs> but, the, you know, these guys like uh, Craig and, and Vitter and... And uh, Governor Sanford, you know, Argentina. <laughs> Tell him I'm on the Appalachian Trail. I'll be back in four days. <laughs> Senor, <laughs> my baggage. Uh, you know what? It's, it's only, well, I would say, almost said unfortunate, but BP would be such a spectacular target for your lampooning. May I say that, you know, all this who's to blame and all to blame, we're all to blame. We're pigs. It's a parable for us, American preeminence is not guaranteed. And right. unless we learn 
that this stuff has dangers. Where are all those drill baby drills now? What it was, a dental convention? <laughs> I mean, I want to see them pay for what... You can't just do it. If you don't have the technology to cap it at that depth, it shouldn't be done. You know, all that oil that's fouling everything, it probably wouldn't run the automobiles in Texas for... for one day. An hour. I mean, an hour. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's minuscule. That's how much we use of that stuff. So let's get off it. I mean, uh, and we're, it's getting coming back to us in bullets. Everybody knows this, but Americans have a memory of about 12 seconds. Mm. You know, you couldn't get a Toyota Prius, then gas went down. Forget it. Right. Too many Priuses. And, uh, and you can't stop a Prius. That's another thing. <laughs> Robert Klein, we will look forward to seeing your show on HBO Unfair and Unbalanced Saturday, June 12th on HBO at 10 p.m. Eastern, 11 Pacific time. Really great to A see great you. A great pleasure, Harry. Right, Thank, you. Thank you. All right. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.